Hi guys, this is Dennis Pedersen again. I'm finally back uh, doing a tutorial on the new PX7 uh, from Propellerheads in recent 6.5. Um, I'd first like to uh, start out with saying that I've been pretty busy, so the last, I don't know, six months or something, I haven't really been able to do tutorials and I haven't really know what I should be doing tutorials about and also I began to record my studio sessions and everything so basically uh, this time we're gonna make a I don't know growly dubstep sound I think uh, you can hear 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 what I'm talking about just I don't know this loop isn't so particularly good or anything but uh, this is what we're gonna end up doing after we're done with this tutorial so I'll uh, start out by uh, making a new project and I'm gonna add a PX7 FM synthesizer uh, I sadly didn't get to buy it yet because uh, I don't have the money right now for it but I'll definitely buy it after I found out how what what sound this could made uh, make sorry um, anyway let's start like uh, the FM no the PX7 is FM synthesizer and <laughs> I have no idea how FM synthesis was working but I believe it's something with frequency modulating the sound so we'll just have to like go on and see what happens so um, I'm gonna start with uh, with the uh, the one the operator one I believe it is yeah and I'm gonna turn it up to 12 it sounds like this in C33 I believe so it's really high pitch so I'm gonna turn my keyboard down to octaves it sounds like this and um, then I'm gonna go to operator 5 I'm gonna turn it up to 13 and I'm gonna take this one to 10 still doesn't make a sound but we'll come to that and uh, I'll uh, turn this one down to one no 0 0.5 and I'm gonna turn it up to 99 I believe yes and this one I'll turn up to one like that it's still nothing but we'll get there so over here you can see the levels of each operator I believe um not a not a pause on this but i believe it's how it is i've been watching some tutorials myself so i'm basically using whatever wisdom i've got from them um so i'm gonna change the algorithm of this one to 18. It still doesn't change a single thing but um we're gonna we're gonna use uh the buttons here uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave the uh, oper like the operator one keyboard rates again uh, scaling on zero. I'm gonna pull up the depth all the way up and the curve all the way up and leave the other two. Still nothing changed. And I'm gonna pull up this one. See now it begins to change. It's the level of the operator two. I'm gonna do the same here. Now it begins to sound bubbly and stuff. Blurp, blurp. Yeah. And now I'm gonna go to the operator 4 and turn it up around 60, 62, 63. I'm gonna turn this one up to, I don't know, 85 or something. 87. And this one almost all the way up. Like. 87 and gonna turn the touch down and the attack down gonna turn up the delay uh, decay a bit this is by the way by feeling like there's no there's no real answer to this so yeah I'm gonna turn this one, the EG rate on the first one, up to about 54. And this one, about the same. A little long. And this one, turn it 
to about 64. And this one, about 60. And this one, leave Now we're gonna try to see if this changes anything. Yes. Gonna turn those two down. This one down too. Okay, so now it sounds, it sounds like some mud. I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna turn up the uh, operation feedback up to six. No, five. Now we're already getting there. So, as you can hear, the sound is moving quite a bit. That's simply the detuning of this one. You can change that if you want to. But we're not going to do this in this tutorial, because that would be mean changing too much. But uh, I'm going to keep it like this. And I'm going to add a... Let's see. A creative effects and a scream for distortion. I'm gonna turn it over to fuss. Already fucking up the sound, but it's okay. Gonna take parameter all the way up, both of them, and turn down the da damage to around four, five. So now it's just noise again, so I'm gonna boost this one. Uh, the cut and the mids and the highs a bit. I'm gonna turn it down a bit because it's good. So that's basically it, I think. There's obviously many ways you can do all of this. You could. The, you could play with the brightness too. It changes a lot of things too. And you can play with the levels and the algorithm. But I just find this one, algorithm 18, pretty good for like the, the muddy kind of growly thing. If you add like But you can just play around with it because there's no there's no final answer to how, how the sound will sound in your head. You if you play around with it, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some interesting sounds out of it and um Please, if you if you if you make some interesting sound, please share it with us, the other producers around the world. Um, I think I will leave a uh, answer. What's it called video response? Yeah, video response on this video, so you can respond videos if you use my tutorial or make your own sounds in, in PX17. But please don't use this to promote your new music and stuff like that but uh i really hope you enjoyed my tutorial um or tutorial i don't know it's 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 a basic synth and everyone could do it so um i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching my video and hit the subscribe button if i helped you bye